full of language on the way. And so is Trustee Ladonna. If we could all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you like to lead us? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, welcome everyone uh, to the Village Board regular meeting. Today is Tuesday, December 17th. If you need an agenda, it's on the, the table as you come in. We have two uh, items to discuss tonight, but, but first I'd like to mention the next public budget hearing is uh, December 23rd. That's next Monday at 7 o'clock. We, we're in the process of building our 2020-2021 budget. Our budget year goes from March to February. Okay. I think we're one of seven villages in the state that have that uh, budget time. Uh, the third hearing would be uh, December 30th at 7 o'clock. Uh, again, they're both Mondays, so the next two Mondays. At that point, we will uh, get closer and we'll schedule a public hearing I think we need three more after that. We'll schedule a public hearing sometime in January. The 23rd is the first or the second? The second. second. The first was next week. Okay. Um, that's it for the announcements. Okay, uh, again, we have you know, two items on the new business. We'd like to discuss. 3B first, replacement of fencing, trustee Kalor. Yes, I had, uh, oh good, it did print out, good. If you look in your folder, you'll see uh, some photos that were taken by the resident I met at the 27 Pullman. They had called Chris Martino at uh, DPW, complaining that after the big snowstorm, not the today's or the other days, but the big snowstorm, that when the plow came through on Tolman, it came through quite fast remember heavy, wet, slushy snow, and it pushed the bottom of their fence out. That's the uh, white fence, the PVC fence. I took the photos of his neighbor, which was right after him. He has the wooden slat fence. He actually has the same issue. He just hasn't called or complained about it. Um, and you can see the old, in the daytime photos, you can see the uh, still dried ice and stuff up against the fence. That's actually ice. It's not dirt. It's just dirty ice. So he actually has the same issue, but the, the only gentleman I spoke to is uh, Joe from uh, number 27, Pullman. So he just basically wants to know what, if anything, the village is going to do to take care of that issue. He said he's had the fence up for years, but this is the first time that the plow actually did that. He said he noticed it was a blue truck, not the town truck, because I asked him, because the town does that road as well. And uh, he said he noticed that he was going through quite fast. Usually they go slower, and he went through fast. And that's why he pushed it so far over into his fence. That was his comments. So I'm just repeating everything he told me. All right. Well, a couple of things. Um, I mean, if, if, if we did damage to his fence, then the village would be responsible, just like mailboxes. We knocked down mailboxes. Uh, my mailbox, I think I told you, was knocked down. Um, I think they had a picture of me in front of my mailbox. <laughs> Somehow, the picture moved away. Anyway, um, I passed this on to John Terry, the building inspector today. Mm -hmm. Number one, to look to see if that fence is, uh, when was it put up? If there's a permit for when it was put up? Mm -hmm. Is it on their property or our property? Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the, the first picture, and this is heading towards Taft. Taft, yeah, Taft is on okay. the left. Uh, it looks kind of close to the road. Yeah, I think it's six I, I feet. Don't, I don't know what that, yeah. what that distance is. It's about six feet. Okay. Because sometimes residents seem to right. um, extend their property. Mm -hmm. But uh, So as soon as he gets back to, uh, to me, I'll get back to you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I will, if you want, you know, call the homeowner mm -hmm. and let them know that um, 
we are looking into it, mm -hmm. and if we are responsible, then we will we'll mm -hmm. do the right thing. So that was my question tonight. Are we responsible? That's um, my question. Well, again, it falls into that mailbox. But I, I guess my question is, because um, I, you know, I didn't tell him one way or the other. I, I just told him we would discuss it tonight. I mean, I'm fine with that. Um, it's not like the plow actually hit it. It's snow from the road that hit it. So would we still be responsible? Um, that could be a legal, that could be a legal question. I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not like our plow ran into it. Right. Do we have a blue truck? Yeah. Oh, we do? Okay. Um, I will call Will in the morning, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, if our plow hit it, then that would be cut and dry and we hit it. But it's snow from the road. We could go to 3A, but uh, we're waiting on two board members, okay, Deputy Mayor Lang and, and Trustee Lodato, to discuss the ratification of a um, um, memorandum of agreement between the Village of Washingtonville and the full-time police officer's contract. So we could go to public comment in the meantime, if anyone has uh, any concerns, issues with um, what's going on here in the Village. Please speak. Mr. Haggerty, please. Sean Haggerty for Belvoir Drive. Uh, my question is the, um, the gentlemen that have been coming to the last two meetings from the town, their ward representatives, what are they bringing to the table for us? Are they bringing any funding or repairs or, or are they just coming here and reporting what you guys say and going to the meeting and reporting it there? Because that's what's coming up on the meetings over there. But I've never seen them say, uh, I'm looking to get them X, Y, or Z, anything. So I'd be curious as to what, we're paying for part of their salary, if not all of it. What are we getting out of it except for them being cub reporters, as far as I can see? Right, I, I think if that's all they're doing, that could be handled with the letter and the stamp. Yeah, we don't need them for that. I could do that. We can read you know, the Orange County Post. I think it was last year or two years ago, we entered into a ward system, uh, the town and villages. Uh, the village of Washingtonville has two wards, Ward 1 and Ward 2. Uh, each ward has their own representative. Um, they sit at the, the town meetings as, as councilmen and report or vote on everything that's going on in the town. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be political here. Uh, some of correct. you know that politically correct. correct. Uh, some of you know that it doesn't always happen. Uh, I don't know what they do. I don't know what their purpose is, uh, other than to do exactly what you said. Uh, and it's only been a few uh, past few meetings mm -hmm. that they were actually here. Right. Uh, and while they're here, they're not voting on things down there. But that could be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's always. You know, I believe it's a board of seven, including the supervisor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the supervisor has shared some um, concerns with me that they, they do show up late there. Now, if they're not here, they're still late there, so I don't know what, where they are. Maybe they're in transit from work. And they are missing some, some crucial votes. It would be interesting to see how, uh, what votes they are missing. Hopefully they're not missing any votes on sending money back to the village. Um, it's a great question, Sean. Um, well, hopefully we can get an answer. Uh, yes. Because actually, well, the one gentleman was on the board, was originally straightened out the, the problem with the flooding, and that just disappeared when he left. So why couldn't he continue that? Because that is his own. Did the mean you have to stop working on it? It's, he's still representing Washingtonville. Well, he's representing Washingtonville through the town. Uh, and if I remember um, the rules, let's say, for lack of a better word, um, the town can't spend village money. So it's only the five of us who 
who could authorize spending. Okay, it's not a board of seven, we have a board of five. All right. So it goes back to what exactly do they do, and I don't know. Yeah. And that's not a great answer, but that's the answer I have now. Not to put words in Sharon's mouth, I think he was saying, if that gentleman was aware of the problem, then he went to the town, why didn't he continue helping when he was in the town? Well, it's still his ward. That's part of his well, ward. Not that yeah, no, I, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he could have still stayed involved, but he didn't. I think that's yes, he still could have stayed involved. Um, he walked he away. He could have gave his input. Because um, he was asked about it, and he sort of... Yeah. Well, that's what a lot of them did. That's what they do. You know, they just forget. Gee, I didn't even know I was on the board. Right. You know, for 12 years. Must have skipped my mind. Um, great question. I, I just wish I had an answer for you. Well, maybe in the next week. I wanted to give it to you. Well, it's not going to happen. Wait New Year to be better. <laughs> uh, any other concerns? Yes. Uh, so, like, on the intersection between uh, Washington and uh, 94, uh, the, if you're coming from Washington and you're looking at 94, there's like this really, really um, obstructing bush that when it's like alive, you, you really cannot see 94. And it's, but it's very scary He's to a have to drive. Driver, so he, yeah, he it's terrible for me. More, so. And so, I uh, from um, what I've heard, that guy, he like actually works for a DPW or something mm -hmm. like that. So it's very confusing as to why he would have that. And it's really scary to have to drive past that because it's like, I don't know if anyone's coming. You have to go further and further out. Yeah, yeah. almost to like on the road because it sticks out. Okay. Um, we'll be trimmed back. Yeah, it's been a concern, honestly, in my mind for a while, but I've just figured eventually, you know, it would, and it just seemed like it's getting bigger. Yeah, you know, a lot of uh, concerns in the village come from the residents, mm -hmm. and, and we welcome that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can't be all over. Of course. You know, yeah. so I, I welcome exactly what you yeah. just said. And um, it will be cut back okay. you know, to the point of so it's not visibility. Yeah. I know that we shared, residents shared some concerns last year with the trees in front of Dublin Donuts. Right. They will move back. Yeah. Will they move back far enough? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but those trees have outgrown those pots. Yeah. So right. it might just be an empty right. pot come next spring. Yeah. Shouldn't be a code, like where you can put a bush at an intersection. There should be a code. Um, <coughs> and most of used to be all the time. Yeah, I think that is the sign should be. I mean, I, I try to run. I see a lot of tro uh, trees and shrubbery that's overhanging the yes, stop sign. We try to have DPW remove that, but there was a problem in the past with removing trees on people's properties and things like that, but the sign should be clear and visible from a distance away. The obstruction of this bush is a good point. It's a very good, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, not to put more work on you guys, uh, but if they see anything as their patrol, yeah. please uh, send us that information, like with the, with the yellow lines, painting. One was missing, Arrow Point was missing, which has now been blind. Uh, I don't know how that got blind yet. So we are finished with all the lining of, of the streets. But um, well taken and we will be done. Thank you. That's it? That was all I had. <laughs> That's it, huh? That's how you're going to go to college with just that. <laughs> Start small. Start small for a bit, okay. We can we can start the discussion. We, we can start the discussion. Paul, I'm pretty sure is on board. Yes. Um, you know, we can go ahead. This was a uh, we started back in um, I want to say July of 2019 discussing this. What was it later, G? Because you were part of the, you were in the conversations. A little sooner, I thought. I thought. Was I thought it was a little sooner, but sooner than that. Um, the police contract memorandum of agreement ran out in March of, of this year. Mm -hmm. um, so myself, 
Deputy Mayor Lang, um, represented the, the village, the village board, the village, along with, with Police Chief uh, Zaccaro. And we met several times coming up with um, a new contract. And you all have the original contract. Okay. Um, what we did, we, we changed some, some things around. Number one was um, um, we added a dental and eyeglass. Vision. Dental vision. was already part of okay. it. Uh, vision, which will hopefully we can carry that through to the you at that point because that contract is up in the So we would have to first recognize a new union okay, and then sit down with them to uh, uh, settle their contract. Uh, one of the things that I really insisted upon was that we do take this uh, and run with it. Uh, I don't believe anyone should be working without an agreement. So that was number one on, on my list. Uh, unlike friends down the street. I believe it's 